this is Jones here. I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to make your own 808s, more interesting 808s, and uh, all in stock plugins in FL Studio. So if you don't uh, have any 808 sounds or you're just starting off and want to learn something simple, uh, this is a great way to get a really cool sounds out of FL Studio plugins. So we'll dive right into it. So the first example I'm going to show you is in the plugin 3X OSC. Now you can really use uh, any plugin that generates a sine wave, which is going to be any synth plugin, they all do it. This is just a quick and easy way to do this. So when you pull this up, this is the default sound. Not exactly the 808 sound that we want. Uh, you can mix in these other two oscillators, two and three, by using these volume knobs. But I'm just going to leave those as is and modify the pitch here to all the way to zero on all of these. What that's going to do is just put it all on one harmonic and we're just going to get one frequency. Which sounds pretty nice. Uh, that was all the way towards the left of my keyboard, so what I like to do sometimes is come in here and right click on one of these octaves just to bring it closer to center C. Which is easier to play if I'm typing anything in my keyboard. Uh, but the other plugin that I like to use a lot for these is Citrus. So I'll pull up Citrus. Citrus lets you do some crazy stuff with these 808s. So uh, when you pull it up, this is the stock plugin, obviously not what we want. Uh, so what I'm going to go do is go into presets and just go down and click on default again. And this will give us just a sine wave again. So if we go into this main section, this main uh, interface affects all of the oscillators from all the operators. So what we're going to do is just take the pitch, the master pitch, and bring it down all the way. And that's just going to do the same thing that we did before with the other oscillator. And give it a nice sub bass tone, which we already have. Uh, the way you modify this sound is by going to the correct operator, which is highlighted here. And you can also tell from this matrix that it's the only one operating because it's the only one that uh, has a volume out here. All of these are different modulators that you can mess around with inside the operator. But uh, since it's just a regular sine wave, we're not going to mess around with any of these. I'm going to go into operator 1. And the first thing I'm going to do is take this frequency ratio and bring it from 2 to 1. Uh, all that's doing is saying that before, uh, the frequency was doubled, and I'm just bringing it down to its natural frequency. Uh, basically, it's just dropping in an octave with a sine wave. So, nothing fancy. Uh, but the way you make it fancy is by affecting these envelopes. So, I'm going to go in here and, well, I'll, I'll show you what you can do with volume. You can activate this and then the way it has here as default, it already has a natural sidechain. So if you just want to make your 808s have a sidechain uh, naturally, then you don't have to mess around with other effect plugins to do that. I don't really like to do that, so I'm going to turn that off. You can also come into panning and make it wobble left and right. Uh, but the ones I'm going to focus on are these pitch and oscillators. So I'm going to activate this pitch and first off, Wub, wub, wub. That's how you get the wub wub sound. Uh, I'm going to go in here and just drag this first knob up and bring this down somewhere over here. And I'm just going to type in the value so I know it's at its center. So what this is going to do, when it's on its center, it's the frequency that you want. It's whatever you're typing on your keyboard or um, on your MIDI. Uh, so whenever I hit C, it's on C. But if you heard it, it's going to rise up from whatever the starting note is and then get to it. So I'm going to put this in real time. It's subtle, but it's really cool because uh, it just adds a little more dynamic and humanized effect to your 808. Uh, I wouldn't make it super long because if you're uh, layering this with other synths and then it's just going to clash and it's not going to be good when you have a B hitting when it's supposed to be a C. So uh, I, I would just keep this you know, kind of close but 
you know, an effect of the 808. You can also uh, lift it up. So going from high to low, uh, I don't like to do that. Usually, I usually like to go low to high. Um, builds energy that way. Uh, you can mess around with whatever pitches you want. That kind of gives it like a hard style 808. Uh, but I'm going to turn this off and move on to this oscillator. So this is how you can make your 808 stand out in your mix better. Each one of these lines represents a harmonic. Each of the darker lines is an octave harmonic. So these are just going up octaves. Uh, so if I take this oscillator down, or this harmonic down, sorry, it's gonna not produce any sound. So when this first one's activated, it's just the harmonic natural frequency. And now, if you click on these, you can make whatever shape you want. And that's obviously not an 808, but uh, you can mess around in here and get a really cool 808 sound by just kind of like drawing your own sine wave uh, with this. Uh, I like to use two of these, three of these, um, sometimes four. Uh, I like to just kind of etch out another sine wave. Kind of gives it a fuller sound. And if we open this up in a mixer, we can see with the EQ what frequency ranges we're affecting. So if I uh, leave this on as is, you can see all of these frequencies that are still left. Whereas if it's just this one note, this is all that's left. So if you're trying to mix this into your song, it's going to come weak and it's going to be very hard for you to build that sound inside your track. So I like to just etch this as a sine wave, uh, give it some harmonic, sometimes four. And then after this post-processing, give it a, a grungy distortion or a light distortion. I like to use Camel Crusher and it's just going to make your sound stand out in your mix a little bit better. Um, I'm going to pull up Camel Crusher just to show. Um, you can really use any distortion plugin. This is just the one I, I use a lot. And uh, this is. So if I mix this in, um, you can see now all these different harmonics are now uh, being uh, given different tones and different harmonics up here after adding in the distortion. And now when you add this to your mix, it's going to come through a little better in this low mid mid section, and it's just going to sound better. It's going to sound more natural on your track and not just a low note. That's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching on how to make your own 808s. Uh, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Give me comments and subscribe below. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on making your own 808s. And let me know if this was a useful video for you uh, in your endeavors as a producer. Uh, my links to my social media is below. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And until next time. Thanks.